Hi, I'm Brandi Suchovich. I'm an elementary school music teacher, and today I'm going to show you how to use music codes to improve music literacy. Uh, for this segment, you will need a dry erase board or paper and markers. Now, musical codes are simply words that start that use only the letters A through G, and you leave that word blank in a sentence or paragraph, and then above that word you would put a little staff with five lines and four spaces and you use the music notes with those letters to fill in the missing words. So for example, you could write, I have a mom and blank. And for the blank, you can see the answer is dad. And right above it on the staff, you can see space, space, line. And if you can read music, you would understand that that says D-A-D. -D. The second example is, I looked at my face in the mirror, F-A-C-E. The third example reads, I put my book in the bag, B-A-G. An extended version of doing this for advanced readers would be to make an entire paragraph with um, more difficult words, with words that have more than three or four letters of the musical alphabet, such as beaded, which has six letters. That way it's a little more fun to figure out the story and to figure out the longer words as well. And that's how you use music codes to help with music literacy.